everybody, Tom here. I think you should get a good picture in your head of the structure of the text of the Irish Constitution. It's a little blue book um, that costs three or four euro online and that contains 50 articles. Some articles are really short, some articles, most of them I suppose, contain subsections or sections and then subsections. And you do not need to know all of the provisions of the Irish Constitution, not by a long stretch. But it is good, I think, and useful for you to have a picture or a map in your head uh, of the overall document. I think you should get to know the preamble. You should read the preamble and, you know, get a sense of some of the themes that are gestured at in that short few paragraphs of the preamble. Articles 1 to 11 concern the nation, or 1 to 4 concern the nation, and 5 to uh, 11 concern the state. So lots of them would be kind of rhetorical or broad or general. Article 1 I think you should look at on the nation, Articles 2 and 3 of course, uh, in the context of relations with Northern Ireland for example. Um, articles 5 and 6, now those you should look at and those you should know. Article 5 is a matter of six or eight words. But it's important. Article 6 is really important and we'll come back and talk about Article 6. It's about the institutions of state, the organs of state, executive, legislature, judiciary. Um, <clears throat> other articles in that early run concern things like the flag, the language uh, and so on. Technical, I suppose, uh, things about which we won't talk a great deal in this particular module. That's not to say they're all important. Um, Articles 12 to 14 then concern the office of the presidency. Now, of course, it's an interesting uh, office, constitutional office in itself, but also there are provisions in there that are interesting from the point of view of government formation, the authority of the Taoiseach and so on. We will be talking about them in class uh, a little bit. Article 15. I would say really you must uh, give attention to Article 15 of the Constitution. So Article 5, Article 6, Article 15. It concerns the Oireachtas, which is the Irish word for Parliament, or Parliament, or Legislature, comprising the Presidency, but really comprising uh, two Houses of Parliament, Dáil Éireann and Shannad Éireann. Article 15 itself talks about the constitution and powers of the Oireachtas, of our Parliament. Uh, article 16 and 17 talk about one of the Houses of Parliament, Dáil Éireann, its constitutional powers. So, um, 18 and 19 talk about Shannad Éireann, the so-called Upper House of Parliament. Then Articles 20 through 27 talk about uh, legislation and the legislative process. So there you go, all the way from really, I suppose, 15 through to 27, a really big chunk, I guess almost half of our constitution, concerns the legislature and legislation, the legislative process. Um, the ones, the provisions that I would really highlight to you, I suppose above all else, is Article 15, Section 2, Subsection 1. Sole or exclusive authority to make laws for the state is vested in the Oireachtas. Article 28, a pretty important one executive, the government, the cabinet, its constitution, its powers. I draw your attention to Article 28, Section 2. Check out your blue book, look at Article 28, Section 2, read the wording. Try to familiarise yourself with the wording, but also with the, what it means, the concept, the implications. Article 28, Section 4, Subsection 1, one of the most important provisions of our constitution, the to on Realtus fragrach do dolier, and the government is answerable to uh, dolier, and the government is responsible to dolier. And so again, you're seeing that kind of um, relationship between two of those organs of state: the uh, the government, that is the executive, and dolier, uh, one of the houses of parliament. So okay, so we will talk about that in class, but it's good to have that map in your head. Article 28, the executive. Article 29, international relations. Articles 30 through 33 concern specific um, offices. The um, Attorney General, the Controller and Auditor General, the Council of State, which we won't be talking about a great deal in class, although of course we refer to the Attorney General quite a bit. Article 34, 
really important. Article 34, the courts, articles 34 through to 37 concern the courts and the administration of justice. And there are important provisions in there that we will talk about. Um, then articles 38 and 39, um, the trial of, of offences, you know, due process uh, and so on. Articles 40 to 44 we talk about a lot in class. Okay, fundamental rights. And we will look at the language of our fundamental rights provisions and what that implies uh, in due course. And then <clears throat> Articles 45 is a specific article that I'll talk about uh, later. Articles 46 and 47 concern the amendment process. Okay, we're all familiar with the, the, our constitution has been amended, um, I think, 32 times. And this is 2020. So the thir 32 times uh, there is provision, referendum and so on. There's a technical process around that, which you'll be broadly familiar with. That's covered in Articles 46 and 47. Um, and 48, 49, 50 concern uh, a technical matter. Um, uh, the repeal of laws and the continuation of laws uh, uh, under the 1922 Constitution. So that's, that's fine. So there's your map. And you can see fundamentally what the document is about is establishes them. It refers to the nation, the state establishes the institutions of the state, elaborates the constitution and powers of the various organs of state, and it uh, sets out fundamental rights. That's fundamentally our constitution in that little blue book, and there are, I would say, a dozen provisions that as a first-year constitutional law student, you should know. Article 5, Article 6, Preamble. Article 15, 2, 1. Article 28, Section 2. Article 28, 4, 1. Article 34, Section 2 in particular, and Section 3 actually, Article 34 on courts and the administration of justice. And then of course, Article 40, you need to know nearly at all, 41, 42, and 43 and 44. Uh, and they're the main provisions. So, hope that's helpful. Uh, see, uh, I will talk uh, in another video about some of those provisions a little more in